Well, stocks took a real beating today because investors are worried that a third bank, Credit Suisse out of Switzerland, could actually collapse. Senator Elizabeth Warren believes that tougher regulations are the answer here. As WBZ political analyst John Keller tells us, Senator Warren has been warning that this could happen for years. Americans can rest assured that our banking system is safe. For now. They took the opportunity to weaken regulations, and wow, they ran with it. But for Senator Elizabeth Warren, who's been warning this might happen since Congress watered down banking regulations five years ago, immediate action is needed to keep it from happening again. It's time to put those regulations back in place. It's time to hold the Fed accountable, do a full investigation of what they've done, and it's time to spend, send a very strong message to bank CEOs. You're not going to be able to load up on risk in order to juice your profits. But Warren insists that investigation can't include the Federal Reserve chairman. To have any credibility in that investigation, Jerome Powell needs to recuse himself. Let that investigation go forward without him because he was the leader of the pack in creating this problem. And along with political and regulatory failures, Warren points the finger at a perennial target, reckless profiteers. There's what Congress did, then there's what the regulators did, and then there's what these CEOs did. The CEOs who said, wow, we can juice our profits, we can get bigger bonuses, we can get fancier salaries, just by loading up a little bit on risk. And of course, that's what they did. Um, uh, SVB's profits went up by 40% over the last three years, and it was all working great right until they drove that bank over a cliff. You know, after the 08 crisis, the Dodd-Frank regulations passed, uh, Warren's bill would put the teeth back in those regulations. Right. Does it have any chance of passing? Probably not, Lisa. Uh, there apparently is no Republican support for it. And keep in mind, 16 Democratic senators, including Gene Shaheen and Maggie Hassan of New Hampshire, voted for it back in 2018. They say now they don't regret their vote. So that, that tells you uh, on, on a micro level. On a macro level, the banking industry has tremendous clout in Congress. Sure. Keep in mind, the Frank in Dodd-Frank was Barney Frank, the former Newton congressman, after leaving office in 2013, he joined the board of Signature Bank, which also right. failed last week. He pocketed 2.4 million in stocks and cash over the ensuing years. Uh, you do the math. Right. And that's why he said today, I don't regret the changes. <laughs> right. And he's blaming it all on crypto panic on the part of regulators. Thanks for nothing, Congressman. Right. All right, John, thank you. David? Ooh, some juicy stuff there. <laughs>